Hi everybody. Happy sunny Tuesday. So I wanted to come on here with you guys today and talk about energy transfer um, and, and what that entails. And I'm, I'm trying to bring more awareness to everyone about the effects of energy transfer. Um, now, <clears throat> I'm not sure if many of you all know that when you're in a relationship with someone or you're dating someone and that other person is uh, very negative and they have a negative mindset, um, they act very low, vib low vibrational, which means they are manipulative, um, condescending, abusive, neglectful, um, you know, very controlling, try to control you, the outcomes, the situations to their advantage. Um, they're spiteful, they're vengeful. That is low vibrational energy. And I can tell you firsthand, that is not a healthy relationship. Um, I was in a seven year domestic violence, abusive relationship, uh, and my life went downhill quick. Um, you know, it, I cannot stress to you guys to be very aware of your surroundings and the people that you are communicating with on a daily basis and even in a relationship with because you actually absorb the other person's energy. So that old saying, you are what you eat, well, you are who you hang around with as well. And you're hanging around with them because you're communicating with them back and forth. You're touching, you're hugging, you know, your kiss. You're absorbing that person's thoughts, their emotions. You're subconsciously, just like when you're having sex with someone of a lower vibrational energy, you actually subconsciously absorb their thoughts and feelings. And, you know, you might, some of you might think back to situations right now as I'm describing this. And go, holy shit, I remember that person and how, you know, dark their thoughts were on a daily basis, okay? Um, you know, maybe you've had nightmares in the past and uh, you were wondering where they came from. It's because there's a dark entity that's attached to whoever you received that dark energy from. Okay, if you know it's not yours and you can recognize your own energy, that's the starting point for you. Um, you know, it, I learned the hard way. I went through utter, absolute hell in that relationship. Um, it was very violent, very abusive, verbally, mentally, physically. I had to get a restraining order and once I left that situation, the universe tested me every time I went to, you know, a new situation in my life. I moved to get away. And when I moved, I was still drawing narcissistic people to my energy without even realizing it because I had subconsciously bonded and, and carried those energies with me because I didn't know how to protect myself so it's it's of utter importance guys that you really really take into consideration your surroundings at all times and the people that you allow in your life even communicating with people on say Facebook or you know some other social media platform even someone who comments on your page and you reply, you are reciprocating their energy, okay? So if you don't want to pick up their energy and you know what kind of person they are because you're able to read them, don't reply. Just don't acknowledge. Walk away. Don't respond. Especially to a narcissist. That's the first red flag there. That's the first key item to stop a narcissist in their tracks do not do not engage at all 
Do not engage with them. Call them out if you have to, but don't call them out directly. Call them out on a social platform if you feel you need to. But, you know, I am, for one, am sick and tired of seeing, you know, people who have low vibrational energy that purposely try to hurt other people who are just trying to heal themselves and, and make their world better. You know, I, for one, know that when you're putting out that energy, that's the energy you're going to get back. So, girls... You know, keep in mind, if you're hating on another woman, you're going to get that energy back. And it's not because, you know, that woman has something better than you or, you know, you don't feel that she should have good things because you know about her history or, you know, whatever the case is. Don't try to hurt good people. Just leave them be. Let them live their life. And there's too much of that shit going on right now. Here I am preaching to you guys. <laughs> oh. It's, um, I've learned a lot in my almost 50 years on this planet, in this vessel. And it took me leaving that violent, narcissistic, abusive situation for me to wake up and realize uh, what my sole purpose is here because after I left, three months after I left that situation, I was given my first heart attack. But because when I left, I was in such a grave, dark mindset, I didn't care what happened to me. I begged for my life to end. I wanted it to end. I didn't want to live anymore because I was so down on myself. And the other person that I was with always cut me down, told me, you know, they wished that I would commit suicide and, you know, I would be better off dead and I would never have anything without them. I took that to heart. I actually believed that was my fate for a long time. But it's because I absorb their energy, their dark energy. And once you realize that anything that someone says to you that is of that manner, that's how they actually think about themselves. And it has nothing to do with you. Once you take your personal feelings out of the equation, when someone responds to you in that kind of way, you have reached a whole new level of freedom. So use it wisely, you know, even your parents, you know, any siblings you may have, friends that you think are friends have, you know, you've known them 20, 30 years, they, they gaslight you, they make you second guess yourself and doubt yourself, you know, they try and hold you back and say, oh, you know, don't go do that, you don't want to do that, you know, there's got to be something better out there for you. You know, it's those people that are holding you back purposely because they know that your light is stronger than theirs and that you are meant for greater things. And this is the beautiful thing about it is every single soul on this planet has a grand master plan, okay? We are all here for a greater purpose. We were not brought here on this earth to work our asses off and die lonely and poor with nothing good in our lives. In fact, we were born pure and rich, but then we forgot it all. And we have to go through life getting rid of those toxic habits that we have, that low vibrational energy. We have to learn how to eat right. So the government doesn't continue to kill us with fast food, you know, uh, medicines that we can't afford. I've been a diabetic since I was 16 years old. I don't claim that anymore because I actually healed my body on my own without doctors. But it took years and years of not being able to afford my insulin and 
and not being able to take my medication all the time because I didn't have the money to buy it because my whole family had abandoned me. I had nobody to turn to. So I had to find a way or I was gonna die. And I had three heart attacks, three. I wish you all so much love and to be strong because God knows it's really difficult to move on with your life and change for the better when you have controlling narcissists, you know, trying to, trying to overstep your plans and trying to butt in where they don't belong and trying to cause and wreak havoc on your life just because you want better for yourself. And the only reason they do that is because they fear you. Because they know that you see right through them. So, I know one thing. I'm coming for everything that was taken from me. And the universe and spirit is backing me. Here I come, baby. I love you all. Thank you for listening to my rant today. I'll probably be back on a little bit later for some more goodies. I wish you all a beautiful, blessed, inspirational day full of love.